Hey, my name's Rob Hawks and I'm the Chief Technical Officer at the British Space Organisation. What I do is I basically build the uh, websites and make sure everything technical is running on time. Um, the purpose of this video is to introduce you to the website um, for the British Space Organisation, or the BSO, um, and also show you what we're working on regarding one of our latest projects uh, called Your Voice in Space. So, if uh, I start off with the British Space Organization website, which we launched just yesterday actually, um, you can see it's quite a uh, official looking site. Um, it's basically the front of the uh, British Space Organization. Um, and as you can see from the blurb here, it is, uh, we're basically looking to encourage um, British space activity and um, we're aiming our campaign towards younger and younger audience, mainly between 14 and 24 year olds. Um, what we've done is we tried to keep it quite, quite simple, um, looking quite official. We didn't want to like confuse people with too much information. Um, as we'll talk about later, the uh, our latest project for Your Voice in Space is aimed at quite a young audience, so it's going to be a lot more interactive. Um, on the website, um, we've got a blog where we're posting, for example, this video and other development um, posts and news relating to the. BSA. Um, we've got an about page, um, which on here is basically information about what we do. Um, might, explains it a lot better than I can. Um, future projects, um, our latest one, which is with the Media School at Bournemouth University, um, me being one of the students there, along with eight others, um, on the team that is. Um, we've got contact page, basically gives you a way of getting in touch with us, asking, asking any questions about the project or the team. Um, we'd love to hear if you have any opinions on the website or our project. Um, and the other stuff on the website is basically just our Twitter stream, which is um, should be working. Um, it's, we are under twitter.com slash British Space and also under twitter.com slash uh, voice in space. Um, we also have some space related news um, from The Guardian, which is useful, so it keeps the website updated. Um, what we're currently working on is the Your Voice in Space website. Um, and basically this is our project where we are trying to get young people involved in space and also basically trying to get a probe launched um, which contains messages scraped from social services and also our website from a younger audience um, to get the message out there and also to give them a better idea of how the world sees the same issues instead of just focusing on their own area. We're planning to do this with um, a question each week or every few weeks which will uh, encourage everyone to send in a response and at the end of that week or that time period we will compile, compile all the responses and basically put them together and compare them and let people see how other people in the world replied and what sort of messages um, appeared and after all of that we're hoping to put those messages actually on the probe um, which will be up in space somewhere which would be quite cool. Uh, we've got some interviews next week with some top guys in space, um, the space industry so we're hoping that will go well. Um, if I uh, just show you some work we've been doing on the the Your Voice in Space website. Um, this is an unmoderated uh, stream from Twitter which I created in JavaScript which basically searches for a certain term which will be related to our questions each week and what this does is every two seconds it uh, puts a new message up from Twitter relating to this term. Um, for this example I've uh, set it to look for anything relating to I would change or I'd change um, it's actually quite interesting to watch and uh, I shouldn't sit here too long because I'll get addicted to it. Um, I apologise if there's anything random popping up, this is completely unedited. Um, so this will be going on the website in uh, one area which we'll hope will be quite uh, interactive and interesting, especially to the younger audience. Um, it's. Uh, We'll be relating it to um, other services such as YouTube. We're hoping for video submissions to our questions. Um, we're also looking at Yahoo Answers as a platform for asking these questions, but it, that is untested so far. 
Um, if we go into the design, um, this is the start of the Your Voice in Space website. At the moment, it doesn't look like much. I actually have, I've been on the beach today in Bournemouth, lucky me, sketching out the uh, design, and hopefully we'll have this done in the next couple of days with, with all the functionality. So it's going to involve a lot of JavaScript and PHP, if you know what you're talking about. Um, you can also see a little sneak preview of what the BSO looks like with our banner for your voice in space, but I'll hide that because you shouldn't be seeing that. And that's about it really. Um, basically watch this space and we'll be updating the blog with new information and videos and links and all sorts of cool stuff relating to the project. We'll also update you when we've had our interviews next week with the guys in the space industry. Um, also, if you have anything you can do to help us with the project, we would love to find out. Um, we'd love to hear about it, basically. If you could contact us at admin at britishspace.org.uk or if you just go to our contact page on our website and get in touch with us, and that would be great. Thank you very much.